Hi, and welcome to this week's Auspicious Agile video blog. I'm John Okoro. This is going to be taking a look at a continuation of our DevOps series. We're taking a look at DevOps for mobile today. We will start out by looking at the differences between mobile and traditional DevOps. We'll then go into some of the mobile DevOps tools that are available on the market today. And finally, we'll look at some of the challenges for mobile DevOps, hopefully giving you a good overview and a good starting point if you're trying to get into or just uh, getting up to date on this area. So differences between mobile and traditional DevOps, well, CI and CD, continuous integration, continuous delivery, are still needed for deploying to real devices. This is really key uh, because, of course, app infrastructure and monitoring are very important. You're looking at real devices here. So instead of deploying to a couple of browsers, you have to look at how your device works on dozens, if not hundreds, of different devices uh, because the mobile landscape changes so frequently. Big difference is the need to test those multiple devices and mobile app delivery and users choosing when to update is also a difference. So you don't get to tell the users when to update. They will choose when to update and if to update to your, their devices, their phones, their mobile devices, tablets, etc. So those updates can be something we'll look at a little more in the challenges as well. And another key area, of course, is going to be that Agile development is still really at the very heart of mobile DevOps. Continuous validation of quality, working closely with your customer and your user. These are things that are still really essential and they don't change so much or at all. Uh, in fact, the need increases for that agile development uh, when you are using mobile DevOps and DevOps in a mobile capacity. So we'll take a look at these, but first what we want to do is we want to go through and look at some of the tools that are going to be available to you as you start to use mobile DevOps in your company or as an individual developer of mobile applications. So let's take a look at some of that in our next section here. So mobile DevOps tools. We're going to start with Puppet. It's going to be a familiar name for many of you who have used it in the past, configuration management, and other capabilities, as with traditional. When I say traditional, I mean just regular DevOps. It's not a mobile-focused one. And that is going to be that DevOps Puppet will help with CD, it is delivery, helping to shrink cycle time, and running automated task provisioning and configuration management. Now, Puppet, of course, is going to be very familiar to you. Some of these other names are going to be things that you may not have heard of unless you're pretty familiar with the mobile space already. So I'm going to go next to Xamarin. Now, Xamarin is now owned by Microsoft. They were actually purchased by Microsoft in 2016. Xamarin is becoming quite popular for Visual Studio and MS Azure development, uh, DevOps integrated into the environment, and in for mobile development, becoming very popular. And it includes CI, continuous integration, automated testing, and distribution, all built into that. Uh, using a C-sharp shared code base, Android native, iOS, and Windows mobile are all available. So very useful uh, on that side. Let's go to Xcode for Mac. For those of you who are Mac or iOS developers, you know the Xcode environment and are probably very familiar with developing it. Of course, that contains uh, Apple's uh, DevOps tools for iOS development and also continuous integration and the related DevOps capabilities that you need there. So if you are a uh, Mac native iOS developer for iOS native, uh, that might be the way for you to go or at least a good starting point. Now, BitBar is actually app infrastructure testing and monitoring. When we talk about app infrastructure, we're talking about the mobile devices here, um, not necessarily so much the server side, uh, but all the different devices you need to test against. So they offer a cloud offering of multiple mobile devices, uh, and you can try and test and run your DevOps automated tests and deployment to each of these devices, uh, try it out, see if it works. Uh, so a very valuable option when you're looking at the mobile space with all those different devices to deal with. Now, C-Test Cloud is similar. They also are in the cloud-based mobile device infrastructure testing space, and they are installed on companies' own servers, though, so a little different from BitBar in that this is test installed on your VPN. You put the real devices in there, you set it up, and then C-Test Cloud will help you to orchestrate DevOps, automated development and testing uh, over that infrastructure of different devices. So interesting option if you want to host it yourself. And then on Hockey App, we have, which is a Microsoft solution. Uh, this one is also, of course, by Microsoft and provides you with a code repository, build and deploy, and also automated testing for Android and iOS apps. It's also able to work together with the uh, Xamarin solutions. Of course, it should, since it is also a Microsoft solution as well. So Hockey App uh, is something else from Microsoft and will work collaboratively with Xamarin for your mobile 
DevOps needs in the Microsoft space and can deploy to multiple platforms, uh, so iOS, Android, etc. Now, React Native is uh, not actually so much a mobile DevOps platform, but a very popular platform for developing uh, mobile apps now. And I mention it not so much from the DevOps capability. You probably have to pair it up with something else, but uh, maybe like a C-Test Cloud. But it is something that you need to be aware of if you are in the mobile space or venturing into that space. Now, let's look at the challenges for mobile DevOps. Xamarin tells us uh, tools, people, and culture uh, and collaboration are key areas of challenge uh, that uh, you face in mobile DevOps. So we look at resource constraints and limited skill sets. So the tools there, here we have some artist tools, uh, brushes and pencils, but the tools that you have available to you, as we said, there's a whole new suite of DevOps tools that are really used here, and not everybody may be familiar with these, as well as the mobile tools and mobile infrastructure requirements. And then finding people who are able to do this, this is going to be people who are both familiar with the mobile and the DevOps capabilities, uh, both are very hot and growing areas, that's going to be very competitive to have that talent and that capability and skill sets available to you. If you have it yourself and you're building your own, that's great, um, but a big challenge there for many organizations. Now collaboration is another key. Of course, as we said, agile development, close collaboration with customers, very essential, very important, and very key, and a big challenge always in the organization. And automation and infrastructure foundation Again, yes, we have servers, but now we also have multiple mobile devices, multiple form factors, multiple vendors, and constant updates to these devices uh, and their OSs. So there's a lot in terms of infrastructure and foundation to deal with, not to mention, as we mentioned earlier, the users have to download the updates. And if you're like me, you may not always download those updates when you should. So very key. At any rate, hopefully a good overview for you on some mobile DevOps capabilities and a good starting point. Uh, please uh, do uh, take a look at the DevOps series in the uh, playlist here on YouTube. Look below in the comments for some options to support uh, the uh, Auspicious Agile YouTube channel, as well as uh, some of the other videos in the playlist. Please subscribe and like using the buttons below. And again, thanks for listening and stay agile.